Hi, my name's Ed Dave, and today we're combining these two lovely devices, which have got the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 and the RX 578GB. We've got an Asus model, an Asus model here, Strix, so they're going to be a thing of the past. But yeah, we're going to look at building them into a little desk area here behind me with this lovely desk. So let's see how they perform and how we get on with the little desk build. Please. So first port of call, we've got dual monitor arm, we've got a 1080p, I think it's 18 inch, 24 inch, something, no, oh, is that, you figure it out, that, that other monitor, that monitor, we're going to dual mount them there, then we're going to have the Lenovo Legion boost station with the RX 570, SS Strix 578 gigabyte model with the T480, there's my current desk setup, which is in slight disarray because I've been using it to film my schizophrenophone channel and music and that's my new desktop PC down there, it's an absolute boost. But um, we're going to make this into like a little chill out area with some casual gaming and like uh, just somewhere nice to chill out that isn't, doesn't require me to use a full desktop all the time and sit in just that corner by the window. I thought I'd make a bit more of the space so first things first let's unbox the monitor arm. First port of call, unboxing this monitor arm. Let's see. Yeah, I'm still slow down or speed up this way because I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not blocking the camera too much. Oh, there we go. This is the Amazon one. Uh, the end result we've got some instructions here. It shows how to craft the thing into dual monitor arms. Should be intriguing. Let's put away the bottom boxing knife. I haven't made anything for a while. I don't know if any of you saw my X270 video, but I was having a little trouble with my emotions and various psychological issues due to losing someone. And that's been discussed in a previous video, so I won't elaborate any further. But that's where my head's been at. A lot of screws and things to mess around with. What I might do is set this up. Build it. Snap back to it being so the reason I haven't been about much is because I've been doing this in three seconds. We're getting through it now and everything is okay. So yeah, what I'll probably do to save all the crap out of the wall is to build it and then come back. Due to my inability to actually follow the instructions myself, I've conscripted Tech wife to construct that monitor arm, which does allow me the freedom to build this EGP setup. So I'll line up the camera and then be back with us doing that. So this is the what the EGPU caddy looks like, the Lenovo Legion boost station. So it's got a SATA drive bay, which is now going to be occupied by a two terabyte hard drive. And then just slid in there. I haven't got the mounting hardware for it anymore, so we'll just leave it just like that. I don't know how well you can see this. Reasonably well. And then there should be a SATA cable that goes with it. There it is. And then we're going to add, so we need an 8 pin. 8 pin. I'm going to add. So for the GPU, I've got an RX 578 gigabyte. It's the ASUS Strix version. It's nice, it's just obviously cheaply built. Like you can feel with the plastic quality, it's not like an expensive card but I got it for like 60 bucks or 50 bucks from CEX got all the I.O. there on the front and that's going to go in EGPU Caddy uh, the Tech Misses builds it's got 8 pin there Tech Misses builds the monitor mount and one benefit of this is that because it's got the VGA compatible output on it it means I can use a VGA based monitor, which one of the ones I'm using will be uh, natively, rather than having to like use a HDMI adapter. So that's cool, I'm just going to pause for one second. So then we take one of these thumb screws, let's see if I can get you in a bit closer. There's no way to zoom now because of one UI 7 adapting my camera to do different things now. But you go in down there. 
and then immediately drop the thumb screw. Oh, for God's sake. So we've got the GPU in. I managed to get a screw in. I lost the original thumb screw that I put in there because it was so fiddly, which is really, really annoying. Um, then we've got the case housing now here for the Legion boost station. I'm carefully try and put that in half. It's surprisingly heavy. You could probably fit a whole PC in this thing. But no, 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 no. Don't want to break anyone else's privacy rights. Violate anyone's intellectual property. All right. Turn that down. Put that there. So we've got one eGPU with RX 580, two terabyte hard drive, 500 watt power supply, and that is ready to go once we've got the monitor on. So boom. See you shortly. So I jumped the gun a little bit and built the whole setup anyway. It's nearly done. All I'm doing is installing the graphics drivers for the eGPU and then um, then I'm going to show you around the setup and some performance and benchmarks and stuff. But uh, it's looking kind of nice and I'm nearly there. So I'll be back with the grand reveal after I've installed these graphics drivers. Um, what I'm going to do, because I'm going to use a little vertical dock riser thing there is the actual plan right so what i'm going to do because this button powers on the gpu you can set in bios you can set the thinkpad to wake on ac so i'm going to do that so that when i turn that on it powers up the whole thing and then i can just use that button on the eGPU to power on the whole setup. So that's kind of cool. I never thought of doing that before. And then I've got this little ThinkPad keyboard here. I've got this, but I'll, I'll show you more when it's done. It's not quite finished yet, but this is the build so far. Wish me luck with further building. So just in the BIOS quick, I've just installed the graphics drivers, but there seems to be some issue. We do power, and then we want to do power on with AC attached. Now enabled, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. But yeah, now that should mean that Later on, when I try and when I power on the eGPU, this whole rig should come to life. So I hope that works because that'd be really sick. Because I've been trying to figure that problem out for ages, and it only just occurred to me. As you can see, I've fut futilely attempted to clean these monitor surfaces, and they're just they they don't look good. Um, but when they're all lit up, it looks fine. So uh, once we've got that rack set up just right, so this I just need to power this up. Configure my screens and then we'll be back. That plant will go over there. Blah blah blah. I'll see you in a minute. Whew. Boom. So let's do this quickly as well. I've got a nice scented candle for maximum chill. Some ambiance. So I wanted, right, the goal of this project was just a nice chill out area where I could relax and do admin and stuff without running a full desktop but we're still having some gaming grunt if I wanted to game or do some edit basic editing and so I've got a little bit of cable management to do down here in a bit but this is the basic build so we've got what I think is quite a nice little setup if I move you over here out of it there's the end result of this build today gorgeous little dual monitor setup so I'm gonna get off the tripod and show you around a bit more so here we are we've got a little armless deck chair deck chair what am I about spinny chair with no arms we've got the Nova ThinkPad external compact Bluetooth keyboard with on its rise uh, raised up it's got feet on the bottom to raise it up at a nice right typing angle. We've got a nice scented candle, which is like apple and cherry, I think. We've got a controller for gaming. We've got this for just general usage, and if I want to game, I use a controller. I've got my notepad, which I do use all the time. We've got a little bit of greenery and purplery. That's the controller for that TV. And then we've got this old monitor, which is just on my X at the moment. I didn't press the right button. But I was trying to make it full screen. But yeah, we've got this screen is the non-main screen. This one's this would be the gaming screen if I game at all or edit. Because it's just slightly higher quality uh, HDMI 
uh, Samsung screen. This is this is a tablet screen, but it we couldn't find a working pen for it. We've got lamp back there lighting up the wall hanging. We've got my electricity thing. We've got one of my partner's incredible pieces of artwork there. And then we've got some little speakers which are a little bit tinny. But if I show you an example of that. So we've got the X200 ThinkPad, quick little YouTube short for you. X200 ThinkPad running out VGA into and they go up and down little Logitech speakers. And then I've also got IBM PS2 my, model. Oh. My wireless Logitech headset so I can do game chat and stuff from here as well. Then we've got the X well the T4 itself is there docked vertically without its extended battery, so it's got some nice clearance. We've got the EGP with the RX 578GB and two terabyte hard drive installed. Um I just like the vibe. I think it's nice. It's just a nice little to that area, those dual monitor arms are like 45 quid and they're really nice. And the cool thing about this anyway, that I was going to mention, pop that up there with my glasses for now and my pile of just whatever, things. let's not worry about that. Um, the cool thing about it is once I've installed the drivers, I can use either the X280 or the T480 with the eGPU and all this setup. And then I'm going to test this now. Let me just find a good angle because I have to set it to power on AC so I'm intrigued to see um, if turning on the eGPU makes this uh, like power up so I'm going to pause and then show you the relevant bit actually right so I'm just shutting down I'm going to switch to wide angle for a second right so that's fully shut down I'm just waiting for the final flash from there for it to power off there we go, and then we power off the eGPU. Which is not working, there we go. Right, so we've got the screens on, and waiting, which I could do with the remote control and then the power button at the bottom there. This in theory, I'm praying this works, so I power that on there, and then, but considering that they swapped and that that's gone red, yes, the power on AC did actually work. So now that button there on the eGPU powers up the whole rig. Let's see if it fully works. But yeah, that's sick, that's sick, that's sick, that's sick. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't know if you noticed, you can tell, but I put the right screen at a slight angle, inverted, like like tilted inwards slightly for my viewing, optimum viewing angle, but I can switch it which one is primary. That's easily done. Uh, I'm gonna be back once the device is powered up, because it's, oh no, there we go, we've got audio. But no video for some reason, let's have a look. Okay, I'll be back when I figured out what's going on. Oh, no, 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 it works, it works, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Yes, that's sick, that's sick, that's sick, that's sick, that's sick. So if you've got an eGPU and you've got a riser stand there and you don't have a dedicated power button, etc. cetera, blah, 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 the best way to make it work is to power on the eGPU and then put power on AC in the BIOS as previously shown, and then you've got a sick little powerable thing. So I'm gonna sign in and then come back with some more discussion and benchmarks. So that's the desk setup. It feels pretty smooth to use. It feels comfortable. There's, there's like definitely a vibe seen here. Um, those speakers that I chose. Uh, the the Lovo ThinkPad X280. I'm gonna dive into some specs, performance, and a bit of use case for it. But look how small it is. Yes, let's dive right on it. Boom. So yeah, they're really a little, little bit tinny, but um, if I show you by comparison the. So this, this screen is on VGA, so that doesn't have um, doesn't have audio anyway. And then this TV. Oh, it's what we were playing on anyway. Right. Okay. Ah, there we go, right. So here is the shiny new thing that x before. So I don't know whether that comes across well on camera, but that's like objectively cleaner, warmer, crisper audio. Before we start, I was gonna ask the usual, please like, subscribe, share the video with anyone who might find it interesting. And if you stick around to the end, let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, the start of the show. Yeah, and it's got nice. Another thing it's nice to sit here. It feels comfortable. I'm probably gonna use that chair maybe instead of this one. This one, which is, it's a nice little chair, but um, 
The reason I'm using it is because for that to line up ergonomically to my head height, I need a lower chair, and that one doesn't go quite as low. And this one has got no arms on it, so it's kind of... It was for playing piano, so... We'll see how we get on. Um, I'm going to think about what I actually want to do now moving forward. I'm probably just going to see how some games run, so I'll dive into that a bit later on.